This morning, I just titled uh, the message that I've shared with you this morning as Battle Zone. And uh, just want to remind us about the fact that you and I are in spiritual conflicts, that there is an enemy that we are in conflict with. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. I think many times we make the devil look much more bigger and more powerful than he really is. The devil's doing this and the devil's doing that and this and that, you know. But I want us to understand what does the New Testament tell us as believers? What is the devil, what's his situation, what's his condition really like? Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Verse 15, what does it say? Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14 and 15. Inasmuch then as the children are partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death are all their lifetime subject to bondage. Notice what did Jesus do through his death? That through his death he might destroy him. Through what he did for you and me on the cross, the enemy has been crushed, expelled, condemned, disarmed, and destroyed. One man put us under, this man brought us over. And he's saying, all authority is given to me in heaven and in earth. And this is the truth of the word of God, that our enemy is an enemy who's been crushed, who's been expelled, who's been condemned, who's been disarmed, and he's destroyed. That's a believer. And then you, as a believer, stand with absolute confidence, knowing that you have authority and dominion over Satan and all his demon powers. Jesus said that. If anybody's going to back off, it's going to be those demons. If anybody's going to be scared, it's going to be Satan. Why? Because Satan... Is crushed, expelled, condemned, disarmed, and defeated. And you're walking in that victory. We know his game plan. We know his tactics. His primary tactic. The, the way he seeks a foothold in our lives. The way he seeks to gain entrance. We are aware of it. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices or mind games. So... We submit to God, we resist the enemy, and the Bible says he will flee from us. 